national defense and security, air surveillance, a value-added service, return investment. That's how building an effective drone team, having the tools of drones, whether fixed wing, multi-rotors, or VTOLs, can aid in the development and the assistance of protecting our, na our nation's borders. We are a development force. We are a raising force. Air surveillance, UAVs, technology developments, from drones to cyber security. That's where we are. And that's how it can aid in the development in national security. We're providing that particular information that is not easy accessible. On joining the Barber Defense Force, I wouldn't think that there would have been a drone unit or any medical or anything else besides foot surgery. Was generally thinking that it would just be putting a drone up into the air, operating a RC vehicle or car, then to realizing that there's a lot more preparation into actually flying the drone. I believe that this will be an asset to the Barbers Defense Force, both at maritime and land operations during search and rescues and reconnaissance missions. With the current advancements in technology, I do believe that the drone unit of the Barbers Defense Force will become a key and essential part of future operations going forward. <laughs> it will be an essential asset in that it will be able to give higher command live video coverage of future operations. It's going to give the young soldiers, the young charges, even the new recruits coming in, an aspiration to look forward to. It's going to add to the capability of the force, from area surveillance to recce's to search and rescue to human humanitarian aid. It is important, and as we are going into the technological age, we have to train for the times. We have to work with the times. We have to improve our own footprint and a very fruitful reward and give the force a good return on investment.